I found the coolest thing ever on my recent thrift store trip. Positively in love. The question is, will it work? And we are thrifting and flipping today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to paint this really super cute cactus design. Is it cacti, cactus? Somebody tell me below. That tea was delicious and now I'm ready to start my day. Friends, welcome back to another daily vlog. I'm Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. You guys know I love to thrift. I love to junk. I love to take those things to make my home beautiful and I also love to flip and paint and take those pieces and make some profit off of it. So today I gotta show you one of the coolest pieces that I came across yesterday when I was out thrifting. If you watched my vlog yesterday, in it I told you we hit two thrift stores, me and Matt. I'll share with you guys a little bit of that trip. It wasn't a big Goodwill, they're all really different and I'm gonna tell you, hitting two in one day yesterday, the difference between the two of them, big difference. This one was smaller, but hey, I got some good finds. So here's the trip real quick. Here's what that Goodwill looked like. So we're panning, we're panning and scanning, doing what we do, you know, just being like, mm, looking for good stuff. And my eyes come across. Are you ready for it? This guy right here, is he not the sweetest owl ever? Look into his eyeballs. He is magnificent and sparkly and glittery, can you see that? Guys, he was waiting on the shelf for me to come and take him home. I am positively convinced anybody else out there love owls. Admire his wood slices for wings. His wood slices for wings. How about his acorn for a nose? It doesn't get any cuter than this. Guys, he also has a little sprig of what I call winter on the side of him right there. Isn't he the perfect piece? Put some greenery with him and decorate with him for winter. Oh my gosh! So how much did I buy him for? I scored him for $9.99. Typically, if I'm spending that much for something that I'm finding there, it's probably gonna be a piece of furniture that I'm going to flip. $10 for decor, but this guy was super cool. But the question is, will he work? He's got a battery compartment in the bottom, so I'm going to see, because he has all these hollow pieces. Can you guys see that right here in camera? He has all these hollow pieces right here, and I guess his belly just like, oh, look at this pretty design right here. It just shows up through. So I'm going to see today with you if he actually works. Now I have to tell myself that regardless that I, even before I found out that he was battery operated and that his belly could glow, I was in love with him anyhow. So if he does work, that's a positive, that's a super positive. But, he, but if he doesn't, I'm still willing to love and care for him. Got it? <laughs> 
all in the mindset. So we're gonna open him up real quick and see, cause I got some batteries to see if he's going to work. So as I was buying this piece, the lady at the register was like, isn't that cute? Well, actually both of them were like, that is so cute. I just put that out and I'm like, yes, yes. The thrift store God smiled on me. And you know it's a good day when you find batteries around our house. These are AA. I need AAA. No, the tinier ones. Matt is out and about, so I'm going to call him and have him pick me up AAA batteries, and we'll move on to the next thrift store find. And by the time he gets back, we should be good to show you if Mr. Owl works or does not work. But regardless, say it with me, he will work with my decor, regardless if he lights up or not. So the other things that we got into at this thrift store trip, okay? And what a trip these are. It's monkeys, guys, it's monkeys. I scored two monkeys for $2.99 a piece. What we're gonna do is put a candle right here. Look, he's wearing a vest. So this is the See No Evil. This is the... Speak no evil. These are gonna be awesome. Now, the tail on one right here needs a little fix up. So you know what? We can fix this little tail. If it's got some uh, wire in here, I'll probably just get some uh, putty, fill this in, and then repaint it over with maybe like our black velvet junk monkey paint, something like that, really hide it. You can fix a little blemish right there. Plus it's behind his head. Nobody's even gonna see that anyhow. So we're missing the hair guy, okay? If you spot the monkey with the hair no, hair no evil, pose, let me know. Gonna need the monkey. Oh, there's Matt. What do you think of my monkeys? I think these are gonna be really cool for Matt's library with candles and I'll fix them up for him. They're like flying monkeys. Unleash the flying monkeys. Those are my monkeys and this is my circus. All right guys, so I'm really excited for the third one. This is just a cedar box, it smells so good. Tell me how like cedar, even after all these years, smells so good. This is actually a Lane cedar chest. It's even stamped right there. So I found this mini Lane Cedar chest for all of 99 cents. So I'm feeling like I want to paint this piece and flip it for a profit. Let's do it. Well, she might be looking brownie frowny right now, but not for long. Behold the power of paint and a shabby chip brush to give me a really cool distress style with this piece. So I'm grabbing my Teal River. This is in our Junk Monkey Chalky Style paint line. I always tell you guys, give it a good stir so your paint works the way it should. And now we just brush it on. You know what you gotta do, just go bananas. Instantly, this piece just takes on a whole new look, a shabby, gorgeous, rustic look. I didn't have to sand or prime or strip. It just really makes it easy just to go right over any pieces that you wanna paint. All right, next up, I'm grabbing my black velvet, put it in my tray, and a small paintbrush. So now I'm drawing out my cactus art, or cacti art, however you wanna call it. And cactus are very easy to draw. Cacti are very easy to draw. It's just literally like little eggs that just all connect to each other in a really kind of wonky way. So I'm building them up and putting them all over the front of the piece right now. And I like to go ahead and shade in my cactus before I do my next step. And when you see what I'm doing, it will make sense to you then. Now we've got some antique lace and lucky clover. I'm picking up my palette knife. Um, I'm trying to decide between a round one or a pointy one. I'm gonna go with my pointy one at this point. And I'm gonna marble my lucky clover and antique lace together. And then I'm just going to apply it just like frosting a cake. I'm gonna apply the paint all over my darkened cacti. So that when you marble your paint, your pieces take on this really cool dimensional look versus just one plain green cactus. And our paint blends so easy, it just marbles together really easy. So I'm just working all over the little parts of my cacti. Next up, I've got some Don't Make Me Blush and Red Apple. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna marble those two together in my tray, apply with my palette knife, and create these really cute rosettes. Little tiny roses, little tiny blossoms that come out on cacti. So when you create these, you wanna imagine like you're creating basically 
commas all the way around, little commas all the way around that add up to being one beautiful blossom. I also love to offload any of the paint on my palette knife onto the edges just to bring that color around elsewhere. Right now I'm grabbing a brush and I'm using the back side of it instead of the brush part. And you saw me add little dots just to add a whimsical flair. And now you know me, love me some distressed furniture and decor. So I'm distressing right now a little bit of the paint. It's dried, so I'm knocking a little bit of it off, getting it just the way I like. And then I can go ahead and seal with my banana peel. And there she is, all done, looking mighty fine and fabulous. Well, I'm excited because Matt just messaged and he will be arriving any moment so we can go ahead, try Mr. Owl and see if we can get his belly to glow today. I gotta tell you, I am glowing over our project that we did together today. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Thrift and Flip. If you are interested in giving this lovely shabby cactus lane cedar chest a home look in the description box below it takes you to my website at junkmonkeypaint.com and you will find this lovely box up for sale you could use this for your paint brushes to put inside you could use this as a jewelry holder whatever you want you can have never have too much storage right there's only one available as this is obviously one of a kind so whoever gets it first gets it first but if you adopt and love it please send me a picture of where you put it because that would be super fun. Yes, it is hard sometimes when you thrift and flip and you love all the stuff that you paint, but at the end of the day, it just makes space so I can go out and thrift and flip more stuff with you guys. All right, what are the chances that he's gonna work, guys? What do you think, Matt? What's your bet? I, I think it probably works. You think? I mean, it's an LED, it's not like the old lights. I like your positivity. All right, so the batteries are in. Two little tabs in. All right, I can't look. Come on, just turn on. I can't look. I can't look. It works. It works! Oh my Matt, God. Matt, there's a flickering light inside there. Would you turn off that? Oh my gosh. Hey, flickers. It's not just a light, it's a flickering light. Oh my gosh, Matt's gonna oh turn off everything. I haven't seen you that excited. Look. I'm oh. actually kind of. Uh, Do you see? I'm just gonna sit here like this and just look at his belly. <laughs> Matt, it's an owl with a flickering light inside of it. Oh, oh my goodness, the jackpot of <laughs> all owls and he works. I'm so happy. Are you happy? Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, the coolest thrift store find ever. Oh my gosh. We got lucky. Yay, thank you guys hanging out with me here on my daily vlog. Of course, I will be back again tomorrow for some more fun. Love hanging out with you guys. If you have not already done so, I would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, we are this close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. That is insane. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for supporting me and allowing me to do what I love every single day in my stretchy pants. Did you love the tutorial and are you going to try it too? Or maybe just do you love cactuses? Cacti. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.